Hello, thank you for joining me. See, in this film I'd like to show you how to uh, put on a roof. What we're going to be doing is putting on a flat roof, but um, before we get started on that, um, something that kind of irritates me, and that is our flashing floor. If you had a chance to see how, uh, how to fix a flashing floor, let me go ahead and make a short film and show you how to do that. So, what we have here, we have a situation here where we have two solids trying to occupy the same space. Uh, or maybe uh, not necessarily the same space, but the surfaces of the solids are uh, trying to occupy the same uh, surface. So it doesn't know whether to paint the, the green concrete floor or put in the gray uh, material in regard to the, the pan that we put in. So let's go ahead and fix that. So if we go to one of our sections, maybe section number one, let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. We have a pad, which is 12 inches, and the floor, which is 9 inches. That's a concrete floor. And both of them are right underneath the structure of our exterior wall. So first thing we want to do is probably take our pad and... Um, while it's easy, easy selectable, we can go ahead and uh, you know maybe change, uh, you know, move that out of the way. But we should probably uh, change its size and maybe make that match our concrete floor so that they're coplanar and uh, coexistence with each other. So we're going to go to the structure. Instead of making that uh, one foot, which is the default setting, we're going to make it the same thickness as the, as the slab and make that nine inches. And go to OK. So now we're in the same spot. So how do you select it now? If you press the tab key and look for the selection down here in your status bar, we can uh, scroll back and forth between our topo surface, our concrete slab, and the pad. What we want to do is select the pad, and we're going to move that out of the way. And you want to make sure that height offset, you want to make sure you put in a negative number, and probably point zero, uh, point oh 0.01 would be good, and go to apply. So that just moves the pad just down a smidgen. Let's go ahead and select that one more time. There's our pad. And yes, it goes down a tenth of an inch, so or a hundredth of an inch. So again, minus zero one point zero one. Minus point zero one. I just want to make sure. And then go to apply because it looked like it moved further down than it should have. So I think what it did is I put in feet, so you want to make sure that you put in inches when you do that. So that should be set. Let's go to our 3D view and take a look at that. Flashing floor is gone. And one more thing to take note, by the way, when we did our sweep, our parapet sweep, because we did the wall cuts around here, it actually cut that sweep out as a miter cut every time it comes into itself uh, around the wall, which is kind of neat. So that's probably enough content for this film. In the next film, we will, I promise, we will put in that flat uh, roof. 